What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to add a sticky bar or an alert bar, as they call it in lead pages, to your lead pages, landing pages, or sites. So let's jump straight into it. The first thing you're going to do is click on conversion tools and hover over alert bars. We've created a pop-up in the previous video. Make sure to check that out. Uh, but over here, you click on create new bar and we're going to name it. So YouTube new alert bar. Now with lead pages, unlike some other uh, tools like Unbounce or ClickFunnels, you don't have as much customization. So you really only have four default options. You have this one with a button. You have this one with a form field. You have this one with just a little text that's clicked on and, and text. And then you have just text. That is it. You can't really change the width and the height of the bar and you can't really add any elements. So this is all there is to it. So let's go with something simple, this one. Uh, although you should know how to set up an integration based on our previous video. So let's just say we want, well actually let's just use this. So let's say we're gonna integrate this with um, get response like we did. We're gonna add it to our three week diet campaign. Okay, and we'll just keep everything else as is. We'll take it to the page. Um, so yeah, so 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 you really you just edit what is on here already. Um, you know, you can change the one thing you can change is the background color. So say you want this to be like yellowish or greenish or whatever, you can change that. Uh, you can you can change the opacity, but aside from that, there's really not much you can do. Okay. Um, other than of course changing you know what the button says and stuff like that so um sign okay so something like this you you change it up obviously but that's as far as it goes so when, once you're done uh let's just save and close that once you're done you hit publish and now we're going to take a code and add it to our landing page or you can add it to your site but let's copy that or just click copy code and we'll go back to our landing page here We'll go into settings, analytics, and here's our code for the pop-up, but we'll just place our um, alert barcode right there. And we'll click on update right there. Uh, save and close and then update. And then let's see what that's gonna look like. Um, oh, one more thing, you can also make it a sticky bar. So remain in place on scroll, which is automatic, or you can deselect it, okay? So as you change things here, they will automatically be adjusted in Oh, uh, over here okay so let's view the page so I, I duplicated this first part just to show you that when you scroll it um, scrolls along with it and then as you enter the email you'll be taken to the right page now if we were to come back here and we were to change this to uh, just remain in place um, and not go with the page as you scroll you will see that the code will also adjust so Let's wait for this to save real quick. And then we're going to save the other page as well. Okay. So that's good. So let's just save that and we'll see what happens. So now the sticky bar should just stay in place and it should not scroll with you as you scroll down. Okay. So now here we are on the page um, and that sticky bar is up top. So the point is you only have to add the code once um, and you don't have to re-add it again every single time you make changes. But that is it. That's how you add an alert bar or sticky bar to the top or bottom of your lead pages. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Also check out my Google Ads and my Facebook Ads playlists where I teach you how to send traffic to your pages. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.